All right, the gang, so let's solve this Christmas tree problem together. We've already got the function name, Christmas trees, and the argument n defined. So let's start writing the logic now. So remember, the goal here is to print a Christmas tree with n layers, where each layer grows by two asterisks as we go down. To do this, we'll need a loop which iterates up to n, and it's going to calculate spaces and the stars or asterisks for each layer and print them all out. So let's make that loop then to loop through each layer of the tree. I'm going to say four and then in parentheses, we're going to let i start at one and we want to iterate up to n, which is the total number of layers in the tree. So the condition for this can be that i is less than or equal to n. And then finally, we need to increment i by one for each pass. So you can think of i as the current layer that we want to print out within the loop. It starts at one, which is the top of the tree, and when i reaches n, we're at the bottom of the tree. Does that make sense? Okay, so now we need to figure out how many spaces come before the asterisks for each layer. And the spaces are really important because they keep the tree aligned in the center. So if we take a look at the output again, you can see on the top layer, there's a load of spaces before the asterisk. And the number of spaces gets smaller as we go down each layer. In fact, the number of spaces decreases by one for each layer, because on each new layer, there's one more asterisk on each side of the tree coming out, right? So to calculate the number of spaces before the first asterisk, uh, asterisk sorry, for each layer, we can use the formula n minus i. And that makes sense because for the last layer at the very bottom, i is equal to n and we wouldn't have any spaces because n minus i would be zero and for the top layer when i is one we'd have just one asterisk and the rest would be spaces so n minus one spaces right and then for each layer in between we'll have one less space until we reach the bottom so then let's make a variable called spaces and set that equal to a single space in a string which we can then use the repeat method on and we want to repeat this empty space n minus i times all right so now we have the spaces sorted and next up we need to calculate how many asterisks we need to print out after the spaces for each level so if we have a look at the tree we can see that for the top layer we have one asterisk for the next layer we have three, for the next we have five, for the next we have seven and so forth. So the numbers are increasing by two for each level down, right? One, three, five, seven, etc. Now I'm just gonna paste these numbers down here somewhere which shows the level, or in other words, the value of i and the corresponding number of asterisks for each level. So when i is one, the number of asterisks is one. When i is two, the number is three. When i is three, the number is five. When i is four, the number is seven. Now looking at these numbers, I can spot a relationship between i and the number of asterisks. If you multiply i by two and subtract one, you get the number of asterisks on that layer. So for the first layer, one minus two is two, minus one is one. For the second layer, two, mi uh, two times two is four, minus one is three. For the third layer, three times two is six, minus one is five, and so forth. So we can use that formula to print the correct amount of asterisks on each layer. To do that, we'll make another variable called stars, and this time we'll set that equal to a single asterisk as a string. And then again, we'll use the repeat method on it. This time though, we need to pass in that formula, i multiplied by two minus one. And now we've got a string of spaces and a string of asterisks for each layer in the tree. And we just need to combine those into a single string. To do that, we can say const layer is equal to spaces plus stars to concatenate those two strings together. Spaces first, then the stars or the asterisks. And then finally, we just need to print each layer to the console, which we can do by saying console.log and then inside parentheses, the layer itself. Okay, cool, that's pretty much it. Now we can try invoking this function in the console. So what I'm gonna do is just invoke this function over here, Christmas trees, and we'll just pass in number two to begin with, create a really small, cheap looking Christmas tree, and then we'll do something a bit bigger. We'll try five. We get a nicer, bigger looking Christmas tree, and now we'll try the gigantic one, 10, and we get this huge Christmas tree right here, awesome. 
So then, my friends, I hope you all enjoyed this little challenge. And if you came up with a different way to solve this, let us all know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed this and you want to dive deeper into the exciting world of algorithms, definitely check out my Algorithms Masterclass. The link is in the video description. Also, Merry Christmas. Hope you all have a great break.